If you're starting out streaming from the PS5 onto Twitch, Kick, or YouTube, this video is for you to make sure you capture all the proper audio, your chat audio, your friend's chat, and everything coming from the game. This video also will explain how I split my feed from the PS5 to my monitor into my Elgato capture card that is attached to a separate desktop computer. I'll list all of the items that we're going to need to do this, and then let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I am combining two or three videos in one here just because I went nuts trying to find the solutions and hopefully this video helps you out. Alright so this is the problem that I was having. I'm streaming into OBS from OBS not directly from the PlayStation 5 when you click the share button and they have like Twitch and YouTube built in. I'm taking my PlayStation feed and going into OBS. So my problem is the audio is not synced with the gameplay. So for example, if you pull a trigger in Call of Duty and the gun shows that it's shot, you'll hear the sound after. Or it'll start out synced with the gameplay and then over, let's say, 20 or 30 minutes, that sync will stop and it'll just unmatch everything. And it looks really weird on stream, especially if you're playing a game with gunshots or uh, Madden where there's whistles and tackles and sounds and things like that. Or a bigger thing is you cannot hear your party chat or yourself. I don't know why PlayStation took away the optical out, which solves most of the problems with normal headphones, but I have the solutions here, so stay with me. I'll let you know everything that you need and we'll go over it one by one. But these are the problems that I'm solving and the whole splitting situation, which we'll get into too. All right, here's the annoying part. This is everything that you're going to need to pull this off. So fire up your Amazon tab, head out to Best Buy, and try to get as cheapest solutions as possible because this does add up if you go expensive. So I'm using an Elgato capture card, the HD60X, the Elgato Chat Link Pro, which will solve the group chat audio as well as your audio problems with your headphones. Uh, you're going to need three HDMI cables. I upgraded everything to HDMI 2.1 just because it's 2024 and some of the HDMI cables I had were over 10 years old. Usually one of the troubleshooting measures is always try new HDMI cables. I'm using two mics so my stream could hear me and also my friends I'm playing PlayStation 5 with can hear me. I use the USB mic for the PlayStation and then a USB mic for my computer. You could go crazy with mics, but these are budget-friendly mics. I use the EZ COO HDMI 2.1 splitter that does split in 4K 120 hertz. There are bigger splitters from the same brand, but I'm only using this for gaming, not watching TV, not you know watching DVDs or 4K Blu-rays or whatever. You need a pair of headphones and obviously a PS5. So again, try to do this on a budget or do it one by one and build your stream together. But this is everything you need to stream the correct audio, to stream from a PS5 from a separate display that's not your computer. And again, that's how I work. My display is not connected to my computer and the stream is going from the Elgato to the OBS on my desktop and I'm looking at a completely different monitor that's connected from the splitter to the PS5, but we'll get into that. Okay, so here's what the EZ COO HDMI 2.1 splitter looks like. Excuse the dust. This is under my computer on my subwoofer. So on the top, you'll see the splitter power source. I believe that's USB-C. Then the HDMI in, which is coming directly from the PS5 up top on the top right. Bottom left is HDMI 2.1 going to the Elgato capture card, HD60X. And then HDMI out on the right going to my monitor. So what we're doing here is, again, splitting the signal coming directly from the PS5, and it's splitting it out to my new 4K monitor, which I did a review, that's the LG95, and then it's going also splitting to the Elgato on the same 120Hz, 4K, whatever. The Elgato can only capture a certain amount, and Twitch only streams in 1080, but the actual signal will be ready to be split once Elgato upgrades their hardware and Twitch upgrades their software. Or if you want to stream on YouTube in 4K, you could certainly do it this way. Power source, top left, HDMI in from PlayStation, and then on the bottom, that's the output. One's going to my monitor and one is going to the Elgato, which is hooked up to a completely different computer. And this is the smallest of the options, there are ones that are four to one, which are four outputs to one input, or four inputs to one output, which is basically a switcher where you could plug in multiple Xbox, PlayStation, 4K player. This is the smaller of the option because this is all I needed. 
The next part includes your PS5 controller and the Elgato Chatlink Pro. Again, get used to having wires and cables everywhere on your lap, uh, on your setup. So the Chatlink Pro goes into the headphone jack in the PS5 controller. It splits into a Y and one of the audio strands on the left goes directly into the audio in on your Elgato capture card and then the one on the right hooks up to any type of headphones you have. I did this because the Turtle Beach headset that had the microphone built into it just wasn't sounding good. I needed to upgrade, so I went with just a headphone that was just headphones, no mic, which is why you could see I have USB mic to pick up my chat audio in the game, and then another USB mic to pick up my streaming audio, which you'll see next. But again, PS5 controller, plug the Chatlink Pro into the controller output for the audio, and make sure in the settings where you see the picture of the volume button, to make sure that the output audio is always going to be controller, not headphones, not anything like that. It won't make any sound in your OBS unless you have it choose to controller. And you may need to do this every time you turn on the PS5. It does get annoying, but again, it solves the problem of getting all of the chat audio into your OBS and your friends uh, talking and all of that, but it won't record you talking. That's why you need a second mic for your stream, uh, which you could see here on the setup. So let's take a look at what the Elgato HD60X looks like. Again, pardon the dust. You see the audio in coming from the chat link. That goes on the back of it. In the front, you'll see the power source and also the HDMI in that's coming from the splitter. So splitting the signal, going directly to the Elgato, as well as the audio in. So the HDMI is only taking the video and the audio in from Chatlink Pro. Oddly enough, made by Elgato 2 is capturing the audio. Again, the only way to get your party chat in there is with the audio in. I don't know why the PlayStation, when you're streaming using the Elgato, doesn't take Chatlink. I don't know why they went backwards with that. It, there was no problem in the PS4, but for this, you need the Chatlink Pro. Again, it's not free, so that's why it's a business. And the power source also doubles as the feed that's going into the computer, so it sees exactly what the Elgato is capturing. And I believe that's a USB on the other end. That goes straight into my computer. So again, audio in from Chatlink Pro, HDMI in from the splitter, and then the power source, and that's the HD60X. So if you're watching this video because your audio is out of sync or it starts out perfectly and then as you're streaming or playing, it starts to get out of sync and you notice it and it looks terrible on stream, this is the way around it. You have to, in OBS, mute your video capture source, which I named here HD60X in 4K. That is the Elgato video capture source. You have to mute that. If you leave it where you're capturing both the audio and the video, after 20, 25 minutes, the audio will just come out of sync. There's nothing you could do to stop it. It just happens. I don't know why. So what you're going to do is add an audio source and use the same input, the Elgato. I just labeled it as Elgato, but you could also see the icon of a microphone, meaning that it's just audio. And use that in the mixer as your audio. So you'll see the bars moving exactly the same, but you want the bars from the video source to be muted, and you want the Elgato as an audio source to be on its own. That's the only way around the skipping, the syncing, desyncing. I don't know why it does it. The fastest computers desync, the fastest internet desyncs. I don't even know if it's a hardware problem, but this is the way around it. You'll also see that I have a separate input for my mic, which is a USB mic different than my PlayStation in mic. So if you just are using a PlayStation in mic, the HD60 will not capture you speaking in the game to your friends. That's why you need two microphones to do this. Again, it's a money-making scheme, but to stream properly with proper audio from a PS5 onto a computer through OBS, this is what you have to do. So we're going to recap everything that you need to do to get proper audio, stream properly, have a good stream. Let's start from where the PlayStation is. You got your PlayStation. The mic is a USB mic going into the PlayStation so your friends hear you talking. Then the HDMI cable is going to go into the splitter. The splitter is going to send an HDMI cable to your monitor and another split to your Elgato capture card. Also on the PlayStation through the controller, 
you're going to use the chat link pro to split the audio to both your headphones and the elgato capture card the elgato capture card is going to go to your cpu your desktop your mac whatever and you're also going to use an additional usb mic in obs you're going to use your video source as the Elgato capture card, but mute it. You're going to add an additional audio source using that same card and just capture the audio so the sync is there. You're also going to add another audio source, which is your mic, so your stream can hear you. All of this will prevent desyncing of audio. You'll be able to hear your party, your chat party, you talking, on both your stream and your friends hearing you in the PlayStation system itself. Uh, again, this does add up to a lot of money. Uh, it still might be cheaper than getting a PC set up and streaming from a really fast PC. PlayStation's probably $399 now. A decent monitor is a good chunk of change. Decent headphones. But again, this is everything you need. All of the links will be down in the description below. They are Amazon affiliate links. I have to disclose that, but this is everything that I used. If you do have any other questions, please let me know in the comments. And then we'll also go over some additional troubleshooting on the next slide. All right, so everything is connected. You have all of your sources in, outputs out. Double check if something is off, if it's not working. Always fully unplug and replug the Elgato going to the PC. Usually leave it unplugged for 10 to 30 seconds and then plug it back in. Make sure the chat link is connected. So sometimes I set up my stream getting ready to go live and I notice that the audio from the PlayStation isn't playing, but I haven't even plugged it into the controller yet. Again, a simple mistake, but always make sure that it's plugged in. Uh, make sure your audio out on the PS5 is set to the controller, which we went over before. For some reason, I always have to close and reopen my OBS. And then sometimes if it's not pulling the Elgato visual, I'll just run it as an admin. I don't know what that does from programs, but running it as administrator, which when you right click on the icon and open it, seems to do the trick too. So again, just make sure all your wires are upgraded. Again, some of these HDMIs, if they have an amount of dust, just fry out. Sometimes they just age out. So if you're dealing with 10, 15 year old HDMI cables, just get new ones. There's no such thing as a better HDMI by brand. Uh, that is a myth. Just get an HDMI 2.1. Doesn't matter what brand it is. Uh, Amazon has a decent two pack for, I think, like nine bucks that does 4K, 8K, whatever you need. So always check your cords and make sure they're new. Leave a comment or a question if you're stuck. But this video was meant to compile all of the videos that I watched to kind of troubleshoot. So hopefully this helps someone. If you're watching up until this point, leave a like on the video and let me know what you're streaming, what your stream channel is, and I'll see you guys on the next one.